Here's how you can make water pudding. This recipe only takes five minutes to make. Let's grab a stand mixer and add water wipe, water cube, and heavy water. Now we mix it. A touch of water to finish off, and a pinch of water sodium. Then pour into any mold you want. And water bake for at least three weeks. Here's how you can make water cake. This recipe only requires five ingredients. Let's grab a stand mixer and add whole water, sweetened water cubes, and water extract. Now we mix. Finish with some grated water and make sure to scrape down the sides because inflation is getting out of hand. Then pour into your favorite mold and freeze bake for at least one week. Here's how you can make the vile crispy smashed potatoes. This recipe only requires three ingredients. Let's grab a saucepan and add water, a few mini potatoes, and salt the water like the ocean. Then transfer to a baking tray, slice through them, and smash. Season with salt, pepper, and paprika. Now pop this into the oven for 30 minutes. Comment below what I should make next. Here's how you can make water kofi. Kofi is a popular frozen dessert in Pakistan. Here's how you can make H2O. H2O is a very popular liquid on earth. Start by grabbing a pan and adding evaporated water, H2O solids, hardened H2O, and skim water. Now stir fry this until it reaches a watery consistency. Finish this off with some grated water and pour it into your favorite mug. Here's how you can make water kofi. Kofi is a popular frozen dessert in Pakistan. Do your egg whites taste like sh**? If yours do, then try this recipe out. You have to try this out. Let's grab a small bowl and add one third cup of egg whites, a lot of Cajun seasoning, give it a good mix. Now spray a pan with cooking oil, add in your mixture, and throw on some mozzarella. Then fold it up and garnish with some cilantro. You don't have to worry about gross egg whites anymore because... Here's how you can make water kofi. Kofi is a popular frozen dessert in India. And you know Saturdays are my cheat days. Let's grab a large pan and add 2% water, water solids, and unsweetened condensed water. Let this reduce on your lowest heat. Then finally mince some fresh Russian ice. Add it to your kofi mixture, along with some pani masala, and stir until it reaches a watery consistency. Then pour it into your favorite IKEA mold, and dry freeze for at least 2 months. Here's how you can make water cake. This recipe only requires 5 ingredients. Let's grab a stand mixer and add heavy water, hardened H2O solids, and evaporated water. Now we mix. Finish with grated H2O and a touch of watery water. Scrape down the sides, pour into your favorite mold, and freeze bake for at least two weeks. Here's how you can make water solids. This recipe only requires five ingredients. In a large pan, let's add whole water, hardened water, and evaporated water. Let this reduce on low to medium heat, then chop up some fresh Swiss ice, add it to your H2O mixture, along with some water parmigiano, and stir until it reaches a watery consistency. Then pour into any mold you want and freeze for at least four hours. Here's how you can make water solids. This recipe only takes 5 minutes to make. Go grab a large pan and let's add skim water, extra hardened water, and condensed water. Let this reduce on low heat. Then finally chop some fresh German ice. Add this to your watery concoction, along with some water parmesan, and stir until it reaches a watery consistency. Then pour it into your favorite mold and freeze for at least one week. Whoa! This ain't what you want. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Here's how you can make bread corn dogs. This recipe only takes 5 minutes to make. Let's grab a slice of bread and flatten it out, then cut it into half. Add on your hot dogs, roll them up, stab them with a skewer, throw them onto a pan, and give it a flip. Hit the follow button so I can reach 50,000 followers by the end of the year. Peaches, 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 peaches. Here's how you can make water kofi. Kofi is a popular frozen dessert in Pakistan. And you know Saturdays are my cheat days. In a large pan, let's add whole water, water solids, and sweetened condensed water. Let this reduce on low to medium heat, then finally chop some fresh Antarctic ice. Add it to your kofi mixture, and stir until it reaches a watery consistency. Then pour into any mold you want, and freeze for at least 8 hours. Let's make a Nutella milkshake. Start by adding some M&Ms to a blender, 4 scoops of ice cream, and a splash of milk. Then blend this all up, and pour into a cup. Decorate the cup with some whipping cream and M&Ms. You have to try this out. Here's how you can make prime at home. Can somebody put this on K-Size Reddit? In a blender, let's add half cup of coconut water, half of a squeezed lemon, half of a squeezed lime, a pinch of salt, one spoon of sugar, a few ice cubes, 300 milliliters of sewage water. Now blend this all up and pour it back into your prime bottle. This tastes like sh I'll do it myself. Let's see if that works.
Huh? <laughs> this definitely does not work. Hit the plus sign if you hate Bayashi. Let's make an M&M mukkake. That is insanely good. Start by adding flour, sugar, cocoa powder, and baking powder to a mug and mix it together. Then add milk, vegetable oil, one tablespoon of M&M, mix it together, and pop it into the microwave for about one minute. Then pour on some melted chocolate and that's it. Share this video to a friend. Let's make low calorie butter chicken. Comment below what it's make next. Let's try Doritos. Lime. That just tastes like 7-Up. Yeah, that's just 7-Up with more sugar. I'll give it an 8.2 out of 10. Like and follow for part 2. Let's try Prime. I've been seeing all of these people online acting like Prime is the best thing they ever put in their mouth. So this is a no BS review. This just smells like Mountain Dew. That actually does taste pretty good. It tastes like an uncarbonated Mountain Dew. I'll give it an 8.75 out of 10. I've been seeing all of these people online acting like Prime is the best thing they ever put in their mouth. But is it actually good? So this is a 100% honest review. This straight up just smells like Mountain Dew. That actually does taste pretty good. It tastes like an uncarbonated Mountain Dew. I'll give it an 8.75 out of 10. Hit the plus sign if you want to see Andrew Tate fight KSI. Here's how to make a super soft chocolate chip cookie in the microwave. Start by adding melted butter, brown sugar, and granulated sugar, and mix until combined. Add one egg yolk, mix it in, then fold in your flour, along with your chocolate chips, and pop it into the microwave for about 40 seconds. And that's it, super easy cookie cup. Today we're making two ingredient chocolate truffles, and it's so easy to make, it only takes five minutes. Start by chopping up a 4 ounce bar of dark chocolate and keep this aside for right now. Now add 1 third cup of heavy cream to a saucepan on low heat, 2 tablespoons of sugar, give it a good mix, and pour your hot cream over the chocolate. Mix this until it's melted and pop it into the freezer for about 30 minutes. Then take pieces of your dough, roll them into balls, coat them in more sprinkles and that's it. Comment below what I should make next. This is how to make chocolate truffles with just two ingredients. That is insanely good. Add your condensed milk to a bowl and microwave it for 30 seconds. Sift in your cocoa powder, stir it in and pop it into the freezer for about 30 minutes. Then take pieces of your chocolate, roll them into balls, coat them in more cocoa powder and that's it. This is how to make a one minute microwave cookie. That is the perfect snack for after school. In a bowl, mix together 1 tablespoon of butter, 1 tablespoon of milk, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of brown sugar, 1 third cup of flour. Now mix it all up, then add however many chocolate chips you want, and fold them in. Shape your cookie into a cookie, and pop your cookie into the microwave for about 1 minute. Let this cool for 5 minutes so it can harden. Comment down below what I should make next. This is how to make a high protein sandwich and it's so easy to make it only takes 2 minutes. Watch till the end for the total grams of protein in the sandwich. Start by adding a whole can of tuna to a bowl, one tablespoon of mayonnaise, mix it together, then toast two slices of bread, tuna goes on, along with two pickles, a little bit of sriracha, and shut it up with another slice of bread. This sandwich has 45 grams of protein and only 450 calories. Comment below what I should make next. This is how to make chocolate truffles with just two ingredients. That is insanely good. Add your condensed milk to a bowl and microwave it for 30 seconds. Sift in your cocoa powder, stir it in, and pop it into the freezer for about 30 minutes. Then take pieces of your chocolate, roll them into balls, coat them in more cocoa powder, and that's it. Let's make a strawberry lessee. You have to try that out. Chop up some fresh strawberries and add your strawberries to your blender along with a few spoons of yogurt, a few ice cubes, a splash of dog milk, cane sugar, and a pinch of salt. Now blend this up, pour it into an ice cold cup, garnish it with a strawberry, and that's it. Follow if you like this video.
Let's make a strawberry lassi. Lassi is a refreshing yogurt drink popular in India and Pakistan. Chop up some fresh strawberries and add your strawberries to your blender along with a few spoons of yogurt, a few ice cubes, a splash of dog milk, cane sugar, and a pinch of salt. Now blend this up, pour it into an ice cold cup, garnish it with a strawberry, and that's it. Follow if you like this video. Let's make strawberry tang hulu. That is insanely good. Start by adding one cup of sugar and half cup of water. Now bring this to a boil and don't stir it. Don't pick this thing up. While it boils, make an ice bath. Cure two strawberries. You can find out if it's ready by dipping a stick in the sugar and into the ice bath. If it crunches, it's ready. Then coat your strawberries in the sugar and put them in the ice bath right after. And that's it. Like and follow for more trash content. Start by adding one cup of sugar and half cup of water. Now bring this to a boil and don't stir it. While it boils, make an ice bath. Skewer two strawberries. You can find out if it's ready by dipping a stick in the sugar and into the ice bath. If it crunches, it's ready. Then coat your strawberries in the sugar and put them in the ice bath right after. This is how to make cheese sticks in a pan. That is the perfect snack for after school. Start by cutting the crust off your bread and flatten it out. Now grate up some mozzarella and place it on top of the bread. Roll your bread up and paint it with melted butter. Cook these on a medium heat pan until they turn golden brown. Comment below what I should make next. This is how to make bubble tea in the microwave which is 3 ingredients. That is insanely good. Start by mixing brown sugar, coffee and tapioca starch and microwave it for 1 minute. It should look like this. Take pieces of your dough, roll them into balls and boil them for 10 minutes. Add them to a jar along with some ice, a little bit of milk and a shot of espresso. This is how to make the perfect chicken in the air fryer. Start by beating your meat until it's completely even. Then cut your meat into small strips and season it with chili powder, salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Rub all of your seasoning in. Now let this marinate until you lose patience. Preheat your oven to 400 and cook for 15 minutes. Comment below what I should make next. This is how to make super easy edible chocolate chip cookie dough and it's so easy to make it only takes 2 minutes. Start by adding 7 tablespoons of flour to a bowl and pop this into the microwave for about 1 minute. Then mix together 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, 2 tablespoons of milk, 1 tablespoon of butter, and a pinch of salt. Comment below what I should make next. This is how to make a low calorie high protein smoothie with 20 grams of protein. Start by throwing some raspberries into a blender. Along with some strawberries, add a splash of water. And one cup of low fat Greek yogurt. This stuff is straight protein. Blend it up. That is insanely good. This 500 calorie quesadilla has 90 grams of protein and this is how to make it. Hit your cubed up chicken breast with some Cajun seasoning. Add in a little bit of olive oil. And throw it onto a super hot pan. In the meantime, mix together some low fat Greek yogurt, sriracha and honey. This stuff right here is straight protein. Mix it together. Throw your favorite tortilla onto a pan. On one half of the tortilla, layer on your chicken. Your yogurt sauce. And finish with low fat mozzarella. Fold it up. And cook this until golden brown. You have to try that out. Today we're making a 5 minute microwaveable mug cake and it's so easy to make. That is way too easy not to make. Start by adding flour, sugar, cocoa powder, and baking powder and mix it together. Then add milk and oil, mix it together, and pop this into the microwave for about 1 minute. And finish with powdered sugar. This is how to make a super easy chocolate cake with just 4 ingredients. That is insanely good. Start by mixing together 1 egg yolk, 1 tablespoon of sugar, and a half cup of iced coffee. Whisk it together. Now pop this into the microwave for about 1 minute. Then add in a half cup of dark chocolate. Mix it until the chocolate gets melted. Now pop this into the freezer for a few hours. Top it with cocoa powder and that's it. This is how to make edible chocolate chip cookie dough without getting salmon vanilla. That is way too good not to make. Start by adding 7 tablespoons of flour to a bowl and pop this into the microwave for about 1 minute. Then mix together 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, 2 tablespoons of milk, 1 tablespoon of butter and a pinch of salt. Comment below what I should make next. This is how to make a haram sandwich. Start by throwing your bacon onto a pan on low heat and cut up your tomato and lettuce. Once your bacon gets nice and crispy, take it out of the pan. Then toast some bread in the same pan. Lettuce goes on. Spread over some chipotle mayo along with your tomatoes. Bacon goes on and close it up with another slice of bread. It's just chicken bacon. Today I'm trying the world's largest strawberry. Look at the size difference on this. Let's try it. It pretty much tastes like any other strawberry. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Today we're making a 5 minute microwavable muck cake. That is way too easy not to make. Start by adding flour, sugar, cocoa powder, and baking powder and mix it together. Then add milk and oil, mix it together. And pop this into the microwave for about one minute. And finish with powdered sugar. This is how to make chocolate peanut butter. 
That is insanely good. Start by adding some peanut butter to a bowl, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of sugar, mix it together, scoop your up, and spread it over a slice of toast. This is how to make chocolate velvet tea in the microwave, which is three ingredients. That is insanely good. Start by mixing brown sugar, coffee, and tapioca starch, and microwave it for one minute. It should look like this. Take pieces of your dough, roll them into balls, and boil them for 10 minutes. Add them to a jar, along with some ice and chocolate milk. This is how to make that tastes just like the real thing. Start by adding some peanut butter to a bowl, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of sugar, mix it together, scoop your up, and place it into a bag. And pop this into the freezer for about 30 minutes. Then cut the tip off, and slowly squeeze it onto a plate. This is how to make bubble tea in the microwave, which is three ingredients. That is insanely good. Start by mixing brown sugar, coffee, and tapioca starch, and microwave it for one minute. It should look like this. Take pieces of your dough, roll them into balls, and boil them for 10 minutes. Add them to a jar, along with some ice, a little bit of milk, and a shot of espresso. This is how to make mango lassi. This drink is insanely good. Start by cutting up a mango and score it into big chunks. Add your mango to a blender along with a few spoons of yogurt, a splash of milk, one tablespoon of sugar, some salt, and pour it into a cup. This is how to make that tastes just like the real thing. Start by adding some peanut butter to a bowl, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, mix it together, then add one tablespoon of sugar, scoop your up, and place it into a bag. And pop this into the freezer for about 30 minutes. Then cut the tip off and slowly squeeze it onto a plate. This is how to make that is insanely good. Start by adding some blueberries to a blender, along with a few spoons of yogurt, a splash of milk, sugar, and salt. And pour it into a cup. Let's see if that works.